Holland, it has come to my attention that you are teaching the students rock and roll. Is this a problem? Is this a problem? Yes, I think so. Our only job is to teach. We cannot teach and the students cannot learn if there is no discipline. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what exactly is your point, Gene? My point is rock and roll by its very nature leads to a breakdown in discipline. Well, what would you like me to do? Uh, deny that rock and roll exists? What I am, what we are saying is that you should be pushing the classics. Brahms, Mozart, Stravinsky. <laughs> Stravinsky was the music of the Russian Revolution, if you want to talk about a breakdown in discipline. You are deliberately exaggerating. How about the Kingston Trio, Gene? How about Sing Along with Mitch? Oh, Those are really Just a minute, gentlemen. Mr. Holland, I do not want to interfere in the curriculum of any teacher. But next week, I have a meeting with the school board. And there are people in this community who believe that rock and roll is a message sent from the devil himself. Now, when that issue comes up, what can I tell them? Mrs. Jacobs, you tell them that I am teaching music and that I will use anything from Beethoven to Billie Holiday to rock and roll if I think it'll help me teach a student to love music. That's... A reasonable answer, Mr. Holland. I can tell them that. Was there something else? Yes. Um, have you been to any of the football games this season, Mr. Holland? I can't say that I have, no. Well, Mrs. Jacobs and I feel that there's something missing. Touchdowns. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you know about marching bands? <laughs> <laughs>